Matthew Holt, another THCB quick bite. This is Julia Kastner. Julia is the chief product officer of Neuroflow. Neuroflow is an interesting little company. Here it is. Oh, and there is the boss, Chris Molinaro, standing in the background. Neuroflow is a company which is providing a sort of behavioral health platform for whom, Julia? We sell mostly to health systems and health plans. We provide behavioral health integration, so bringing behavioral health into other physical health contexts like primary care or care management teams. Okay, but really what you're doing is providing an alternative to the hugely well-funded teletherapy online platforms like Lyra, Headspace, Ginger, and the Spring Health and God knows how many others. I would say that we're an incumbents. alternative. Okay. We, like to, we like to partner with folks like that, but our perspective is that not everyone needs therapy. Everyone needs access to behavioral health. So our goal is to get the right people to the right levels of care, which could be a self-service digital app, all the way up to being referred to therapy or psychiatry, depending on what the person needs. All right. So for the self-service digital app, you're going to show me how it looks like a little bit. So let's uh, real quick, this is what here? This is our clinical platform that a clinician would use, like a care manager or a behavioral health specialist. And so I've just done this. You can see that I'm the top patient. Well, I, I and you are the top patient there. Um, so uh, it's been rec it's recorded for the case manager that I've taken part and I've done the surveys. I've done what I've done. So why don't you show a little bit on the phone what I just did? Sure. So uh, here's, here's our app. Um, and within the app, There'll be exercises that you're asked to do. You can take uh, clinically validated assessments like a PHQ-9 or a GAD-7, which can be customized by your organization. And then uh, we'll recommend a small DCBT-influenced uh, curriculum, uh, which again can be customized by your organization for you. Uh, and as you work your okay, way through Okay, just to stop you a second. So that means cognitive behavioral therapy or something similar to it, mm -hmm. which allows me to watch some videos. In fact, why don't you quickly click, yeah. to, the, click to the videos. Yeah. Show me some ideas about so, what videos I could see. Give some explanation. Yeah, so the, this one's an example of the, your intro to Neuroflow, but I'll show you. This one was triggered for you because of the way that you answered the I PHQ9. I was very, very depressed when I answered the PHQ-9, yes. yes. And so you were recommended depression videos, and you'll, you'll go through a small program about depression over you know, a few days um, with different activities that you can do and uh, worksheets. Um, and you know, content for, for you to, to think through, uh, some reading activities, things like that. Okay. And why don't you show the, the range of things within the app and the program that a patient can do? Yeah, so we have a bunch of different types of activities that are, um, some that are more focused on wellness, like tracking your mood and sleep and pain. Uh, but we also have uh, video content, uh, different types of reading activities, and you could uh, do a journal right in here. So again, meant to be a self-service uh, behavioral health resource. All right, fantastic. So tell me a bit about who is using this? What are the sort of main use cases within for health plans and health systems? Yeah, so for a health system, we might see an integrated behavioral health care model, like a BHI or collaborative care. And then we'll have a care manager who's managing the platform and inviting their patients or caseload and monitoring them on a regular basis. Uh, or for a payer, they might roll it out directly to a whole po population, get that level of baseline assessment, and then we'll help to triage the right people to the right level of care, either using some of our own staffing or the payer's own staff team, you know, care management team. Okay, so tell me about the own staffing a bit, because I, when I came here today, I thought you were just a technology software company, mm -hmm. yeah. but then I hear you do have a staff group, you know, pairs. What, yeah. Why are they doing that? Don't they have their own staff? And are you guys going to be going into competition with them eventually? We're just in augmentation, and some of them are actually using us just to get off the ground and get started, and then transitioning to their own teams. But what they're doing is they're monitoring uh, our platform for high, high needs folks, either people that triggered on an assessment, or our NLP algorithm flagged someone, or our, um, our severity score raised someone in their severity level, and our team can be that first line of defense for a small, high needs population. Fantastic. All right, so a uh, little bit about the company. Tell me uh, how, how long has Neuroflow been around? How many customers yeah. do you have? How many people? Neuroflow's been around about six, six years, I think, at this point. I've been around here for four. And um, we're at about 100 employees at this point. And um, I think we have, uh, I don't actually remember how many customers we have. Can I ask Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, how many customers do we have? <laughs> Uh, we yep. have 60 paying customers, 15 million users in all 56. This is Chris Molnaro, the CEO, who has <laughs> crashed Julia's uh, uh, interview because she didn't know the answer to that question. <laughs> so we're glad we had him here. And then, Chris, tell me, how much money have you raised so far? Uh, in the course of five years, we've raised $30 million. 
Okay, fantastic. Uh, and then between the two of you, what is next for the product? I should ask you this. Yeah, we're really excited. We're actually just launching a new, uh, what we call a journey gallery. So a lot of that DCBT-inspired content is, will be available for patients to pick out on their own. Uh, and then on the clinical side, we're always leveling up our uh, our algorithms and the, the types of specificity. And then we have a, a really exciting feature where we're allowing uh, custom tagging so that uh, care managers can really customize their workflow. It's inspired by a lot of the customization of Asana or the productivity management tools. All right, I see. And then finally, Chris, what's next for the company? I'm really excited about all the partnerships and integrations we have. The only way you get the adoption that you do in healthcare today is by working with the systems and then the workflows. So a lot of integrations, APIs, white labeling, and that sort of thing. Uh, but Neuroflow is, the next few years are going to be really exciting. So uh, does that mean more health plans are going to be the, the future of, the, of your main customer base? Or I mean, how do you see this evolving in mental health care for, as, a, as a whole? For us, I think when you look at mental health care, it, effect, it impacts the overall outcomes and cost of care. So really, we focus on whoever is risk-bearing entities. So a lot of providers now have value-based care products. A lot of health plans are at, are, you know, at risk for total cost of care. It's that intersection of the payers and the providers where Neuroflow is you know, just where we find our sweet spot. All right, fantastic. Well, I've been talking with Chris Molinaro, the CEO of Neuroflow, Julia Kastner, who is the Chief Product Officer. Thanks for your time. Thank you.